To stream HD video from a PC using a Hapog Stream Easy Pro device, first connect your camera to the Stream Easy Pro with an HDMI cable. Connect the Stream Easy Pro to your PC with a USB cable and connect the Stream Easy Pro to a power source. Next, install the Stream Easy Pro's software and drivers. These are on the installation CD that was packaged with the device and can also be found by visiting hapog.com and navigating to the support tab, then choosing Stream Easy Pro. So you're going to scroll down and click here and then click download. Let it download and once it completes downloading you'll open the exe installer file and click next and then you'll click next again and once it completes installing you're going to go ahead and reboot your computer. After the software and drivers have been installed open the Stream Easy software by right clicking the desktop icon and choose run as administrator. Once the application opens, click the Advanced tab, then click the Streaming Service Profiles tab below that. Use the drop-down to select Manage Profiles, choose RTMP from the list that pops up, then click the Duplicate Selected button. Click the copy it creates, then click the Rename Selected button and type in the cube, and then click Exit. Choose the cube from the drop-down, then click the lock icon so it is unlocked. Scroll down to the target server section and under the destination address enter stream.thecube.com. Do not enter an HTTP or a www before it. Next, click next to where it says stream name and enter the seven digit code you received when you scheduled an event on thecube.com. This can be found in the email confirmation you received upon scheduling the event as well. After entering this, click the lock to save your changes. Next, click the basic tab. Click the lock button to unlock the ability to edit settings. Make sure your video and audio sources are correct then choose a quality profile based on your available upload speed, which you can check by visiting speedtest.net. As a general rule, you'll want your upload speed to be at least twice as fast as the bitrate of the profile you choose. For example, the bitrate for the high bandwidth profile is 2500 kilobits per second. So you would need an upload speed reading of 5 megabits per second or higher to use this setting. The medium bandwidth bitrate is 1,250 kilobits per second, so you'd want an upload speed of at least 2.5 megabits per second to use this. And the low bandwidth bitrate is 750 kilobits per second, so you'd want an upload speed of at least 1.5 megabits per second to use that. Once you've chosen a quality profile, in the streaming service dropdown, select the cube profile you created and then make sure you have selected your internet source in the network connection drop-down. When everything is ready to go, you can then hit the red button to start sending your stream. You'll notice there is about a 12 to 15 second delay between when the video is sent out and when it appears on your event video player.